Hello again. This is the new video blog, Punk IPA. Welcome back to the Doodog HQ. This is where it all goes down. James working hard. Martin keeping up to the speed with the latest industry developments. And we plot our path to world domination. Beer was never meant to be bland, tasteless and apathetic. At Brewdog, we're setting the record straight. This is a contemporary Scottish IPA, a transatlantic fusion. We are taking the traditional roots of the IPA and giving it some American audacity. It's sad to see the fantastic IPA tradition in the UK come to equate to nothing more than a 3.8% mildly hot blonde session ale. Punk IPA is a wolf in sheep's clothing. As opposed to a sheep in sheep's clothing. Jugers. For instance. The key to IPA is hops. Hops, hops and more hops. In our IPA, we are using Chinook and a tannin from the States, and in our special one, we use Nelson Sauvin from New Zealand. What you have in this glass is the culmination of lifetimes worth of passion, commitment, knowledge, enthusiasm. It was made for you. Show it respect, take your time, get to know it. Hello. How are you? Just as I say hello to this gentleman here, how are you? I take my time, he's going to open up to me the same way the beer's going to. Show it respect. Hello. How are you? I'm bitter, I'm spiky, I've got passion fruit, I've got loads of hops, I'm resinous, I'm in your face. You back off for a minute. Mm. You take a sip, it's in the middle of your tongue, it's in the tip of your tongue, it's underneath your tongue. You're Getting as much of these flavours as you can. Show it respect, take your time, get to know the beer. And be careful. Always. Straight off the bat you're getting tropical, you're getting pineapple. After the pineapple sinks in, it starts to come round your mouth a bit more. A bit of the chinook comes in and you get grapefruit. Grapefruit settles down. A bit of sweetness comes into your cheeks, you'll start to pick up some mango, a little bit of kiwi. Also, you'll start to get a little bit of honey sweetness from the malt. Then as it subsides, you'll get a little bit of bitterness, and that'll come from little tinges of lime, and then you'll get some nice toffee crisp crunch at the end. After that, everything will sink down into your palate, it'll start to come down your throat, and you're going to be punished with the bitterness. So this beer very much lives up to the punk name. It's bitter, it's spiky, it's aggressive, it's in your face. The question is, can you handle it? I'm off to catch up with the rest of this month's industry news. Until next time, peace out.